Hi Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium oracle and a prophetess. So welcome you guys. Um, this is going to be the energies. You guys have already seen the title and um, the, you know, the picture of the video. So this is what the eclipse energies has brought in for you. Okay. And this is like current energies coming in for you guys and what's around you guys collectively right now. Sorry. Hold on one second. Um, all right. So let's just get an idea for you guys. Okay. This is Intuit Oracle, all right, for Sagittarius, for the collective of Sagittarius. What energies did this eclipse bring in? The Lighthouse, seven, okay. So definitely luck, all right? This is potentiality, fertility around you guys. You know, I was saying that like with Sagittarius season, your guys' season right now, happy birthday, by the way, you guys. Um, this is all about following your passions, your creativity, okay? Um, your guys' creativity is like, sorry, hold on one second, you guys, is on fire. Um, like you're diving into whatever you're passionate about at this time, whether it's your business, you know, you're an entrepreneur of some sort, it's your family, your spirituality, your health, um, you know, whatever it is. You guys are giving it 110%, and it's really beautiful, okay? So with the lighthouse, it says guidance system, uh, safe passage, obstacles, uh, plot a course of action, okay? You guys are doing all of this, okay? So this is like this energy where you guys finally feel like you're in a space where life is kind of content, you're good, and like you can kind of see like exactly like what you want to manifest into your reality, and that's exactly what you guys are doing, okay? You have removed obstacles, you're following your passions, okay? Um, you're also allowing spirit to guide you, okay? Plot a course of action. You know, that for me is like business oriented, okay? This could also be in like, you know, romance, love, things of that nature. Maybe you're planning to take action towards someone or someone is taking action towards you. But I feel in life, you guys are just taking action right now. It's really nice to see that. Okay, definitely love here. Look at that. Two and five, 25 breaks down to seven. So, so far now you guys have seven, seven, the engagement ring. It's actually the diamond, the diamond ring. And then 11, 11, 11, a master angel number. Okay. Um, so with the diamond ring, it says a proposal engagement. So some of you guys are getting engaged. Maybe you get proposed to on Christmas or New Year's, but this is about love and it's about a union. Um, someone making a statement of intent. Okay. And I did say that this could be related to love and then, then the diamond ring came out. Okay. So it says marriage union. Okay. So maybe you guys have overcome some obstacles with someone you're married to or someone that you're in union with at this time. Maybe there's major transformations happening at this time between you guys. Um, all of that is great. But for those of you guys who are, you know, singles, this is a transformation taking place with judgment coming out. Many of you guys are seeing a lot of seven, 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 things of that nature. And then like 11, 11. So total transformations taking place. You guys have been doing a lot of clearing and purging, okay? Um, someone that you are in connection with, like maybe you're in separation from this person. This is what they want here is a partnership. This is what's being manifested, okay? But I feel that at this time, Sagittarius, the partnerships within your life, whether it's, you know, platonic or romantic, whatever, it's, um, they're, they're powerful and they're strong and they're thriving, okay? There's a lot of transformation happening within the relationships in your life. The lily. Look at this. So this is about patience, sexuality. It says mature. It also says career, virtue, development, retired. Maybe some of you guys are retiring this year. Maybe you guys are following business, uh, entrepreneurial pursuits and business ventures. Um, so you can have a retirement plan. So you can retire early, okay? But this is about something being established here, something that's been developing. And then here we go. Look at this. Another 743, the waterfall. This is overflowing abundance, tears of joy, the floodgates opening, okay? Someone has awoken. There's spiritual awakening here. So a lot of you guys are going through, you know, spiritual awakening. Um, you know, we're always awakening, we're always ascending, but like you guys are going through like a big spiritual awakening here. In fact, it's falling right in the center. So it's like the root of your life is judgment, making judgment calls, transformations, awakening, clearing and purging. Okay. 
and then you have 10 completion and this is mortar and pestle it says blend blue, brew alchemy concoction breaking things down making something else potions and spell work so some of you guys work with mother nature okay your witches your light witches whatever you work with um with nature magic okay or you just work with herbs maybe you're into holistic healing but i see you actually like you know um like oh my gosh oh my gosh my mind just went blank right now like muddling you know all of your different herbs and things like that okay you work with the moon, moon energy, things of that nature. But this is about someone wanting to alchemize. They want to blend something here with you. And then it brings something to a close. I feel too that there's been a lot of patience here with you guys. And then the firefly bottom of the deck. This is illumination. And look at that 11. Another 11. Illumination. There's extreme chemistry. There's things being illuminated to you all around you within your life at this time. Magical. See, you. some of you guys are very magical, okay? It says a soul spark. This is about a soul spark between soulmates, right? Illumination. Light codes. A creative spark. It says creative spark. I told you guys you're tapping into your creativity. Someone exceptional and fire, okay? So fire is your eyes' energy, right, Sag? So this is things coming in for you, illuminations. And I mean, literally, literally, some of you guys could be getting engaged, proposed to. Someone comes in and they're just like overflowing, open up the floodgates, you're the one I want. It says emotional release, chasing after something, fulfillment, tears of joy and overflowing abundance. You guys have 777 in your reading and you guys also have 1111. Okay, so that's super powerful, super powerful energy around you guys at this time. All right, so let's do some tarot. Um, let's do some brighter weight. All right, for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius, Eight of Swords. And then the Chariot. You guys have been overcoming, um, you know, self-doubt, self-inflicted kind of pains, you know, keeping your guys' self stuck. Um it's like mental entrapment, you know, um, when you, there's an easy fix to change your life. Okay. But you, you, you purposely keep yourself in a, in a, in a low vibrational space or stuck or feeling trapped. Okay. And feeling sad. So with the chariot and that, you know, being in the center of the deck, it's like you guys have overcome this. It's a victory. It's a win. See, you've overcome the devilish ways, Capricorn energy. Okay. You, 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 know, you no longer feel bound to negative thinking patterns, you know, toxic behaviors, addictions, toxic people. You really overcome a lot in this year. That's what this judgment is here. You guys have made judgment calls. You've chosen total transformation. All right, what else for Sagittarius? Tell me about the diamond ring, the waterfall, and the firefly. The hermit, Virgo energy. All right, so it feels like that in this connection or whoever this person is or whatever this is, right? Like you've been, for one reason or the next, you've been in a deep state of contemplation here with the hermit energy, okay? Um, but I do feel that this connection and whatever's happened here, whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's actually opened up this, it's like enlightenment. It's actually with the star in this land, you know, it's actually created a spark. It, it, it started your awakening. It started like a an acceleration of an awakening or something along the lines of that. Okay. That sent you into deep contemplation and someone's been into deep contemplation too here. Okay. King of cups, someone who's reserved with their emotions, very reserved. They feel them, they acknowledge them, they recognize them, but they um, don't acknowledge them to someone else. Like they, they hold back. Exactly. Four of pentacles. All right. So this is, this was the issue. This was the obstacle here. Someone holding back. Someone was uh, withdrawn. I feel that for a lot of you guys, this person was holding back because they were hiding, you know, um, toxic traits or they knew that they had tox toxic traits or behaviors that they were not, that were not healed or that they weren't, whatever it was. But they, that's why they, bottom of the deck, the king of swords, they, um, 
I feel like they cut you out. I mean, you could have been the one to cut them out, but I feel that someone cut someone out here for sure. All right. So tell me about the, the diamond ring. <laughs> Let me ask my question. Tell me about the diamond ring and the waterfall, please. The queen of wands. There is the Sagittarian energy standing full on in your power. Okay. This for me is that sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra energy. Okay. Um, by the way, you guys, I, I post pretty much on a daily basis or every other day, um, divine masculine, divine feminine readings. Um, and I tap into the energies and see what's going on with the collective today. I'm going to be recording all about the twin flame journey and how twin flames share the chakras. Okay. And the solar plexus and, and what's going on with that. But this is perfect for that. It shows that you're standing full on in your power. Okay. Again, the queen of wands could be someone who, you know, dabbles in magic is very magical. She's super, um, you know, intuitive. She's sexy. She's someone who walks into a room and everybody turns their head. And it's not just because of her looks. It's because of her energy and her confidence. Okay. So this is that someone here is extremely drawn to your confidence, to your power, to your magic, to your mystique, to your body, to your physical aspects as well. Okay. So something is weighing very heavily on this person. Okay. So they're ready to lay something down here. They want to lay it down at your feet is what I'm hearing. Tell me about the waterfall, please. And illumination, because this illumination goes hand in hand with this. Okay. Because it's, it's emotional release, you know, releasing their emotions. Okay. Yeah, exactly. The Ace of Wands. So this is what brings this in. And by the way, the Ace of Wands is fire energy, right? Passion, all of that. It's what gets you super excited in life. Someone exceptional. This is someone exceptional. All right. Um, And again, for, for those of you who are in a connection with someone, this could be your person, right? That they were just stuck in toxic ways. So they were holding back and you had to speak a truth. Like there was truths spoken here that initially changed everything. This person is laying down heavy burdens at your feet. Okay. Those are for those of you who are in a connection with this person. Cause I am getting both, but for the most part, it's like singles who are going to be watching this or who are in separation from this individual. Um, where are we at? <clears throat> look at this, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Funny, you guys, those came out earlier too, together. And I said, and I put them back and I said, let me ask my questions. And now they've come out again. So this shows me here, there's two energies, okay? That one is very loving, compassionate, and kind. The other is a little slow, but very reliable and trustworthy, okay? So this shows me that for a lot of you guys, you've been going around with this person or in connection with this person for some time. This person holds a lot of love, a lot of affection towards you. They want to be your knight in shining armor. Okay. They do struggle a little bit with the, with the, with the, the time that has been between you guys or the energy that was left between you guys, perhaps. Um, you know what? Let's get a couple romance angels. Oh, Okay. No, spirit says no. They say use energy oracle. Okay. All right. So you guys, there must be something in here that needs to come out. All right. For the collective today of Sagittarius. Angel of strength. Look at that. This is Leo energy, right? It's like your sister zodiac sign. Fire. Standing in your power though. That's what this is. It's standing in your power, you know? like the sun energy community. You you guys are really leaning on your friends, your circle, your soul tribe. Okay. You've really like been pushing yourself to actually get out and be more social, you know, to tap back into like your fiery self. You feel like you haven't been your fiery self for a long time. Yin and yang. Yeah. You're restoring balance into your into your life, into your body, into your, you know, into your energy. 
This is also balance being restored in love. Two, two, another master number. Okay, and then the world came out. This is a new cycle here between the divine masculine and divine feminine coming together. And then bottom of the deck is the door to personal healing and happiness. This is what the eclipse energy has brought. This is what has helped the new moon eclipse energy, you guys. So some of the zodiacs I did before the before it and some of the zodiacs, you know, they're, they're getting the aftermath of it. But it's all very relevant to you guys. Let your friends help you. See something about your community. Ask for and support. So you guys are working with your guides, but there's something about like your, your soul tribe, your family, your friends, like helping you guys through certain situations here. Okay. And you feel very lucky to have them. Release your ex. So yeah, you guys have released a lot of negative things. You release this person possibly and look, a reconciliation. Someone from your past is coming back into your life. Okay. And then let's get a message from spirit for Sagittarius at this time. For Sagittarius, please, at this time. Past life trauma. So this is part of that purging and clearing, you guys. You guys have been healing a lot of past life stuff. Look at that. And then old soul. Because you guys are old souls. A lot of you guys, and then look at that. Did I not specifically say soul tribe with community and all this? So anyways, you're meeting more of your soul tribe as well. Old souls. You guys spend a lot of time alone. You prefer it actually. But that's part of what you're like, you know what? I need to kind of get out there more and, and do, do me a little bit. Be more social, this and that, you know. So anyways, this is what I have for you guys. If this is your message, be sure to claim it by liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, I am teaching tarot classes at this time um, via Zoom in a group. Okay, it's intimate. It's super interactive. I teach very... Um, hands-on, I guess I want to say, and I help people to tap into their intuition, their psychic ability, third eye, like things like that, right? Um, to feel the, the, car, the energy of the cards and not focus so much on the meaning, etc. Um, so if you guys are interested in signing up for that, you are more than welcome to join. Uh, your ticket is $55. I'm holding my next one this Sunday at 12 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, if you are interested, email me down below um, and just let me know you want to join the class and I will get you set up. And if you're interested in honing in on your life, your uh, divine path, your twin flame journey, or whatever it is at this time, also down below, email me. I'm still doing personal. So um, pricing, it's all there. And I'm just sending you guys so much love, so much light. And for those of you who have donated to my channel, thank you so much. It is deeply appreciated. I love you guys. Till next time. Bye, Satch.